I try not to be too judgmental because I have friends that have done some crazy things. And I actually know a friend of mine who went to her man's house and she didn't have the keys to the front door. So she knew that the bedroom had an air conditioner in it. She just said, boom, and she came through the air conditioner. That's crazy. To then do what? I, I hear that's the point I want to finish. Once she gets down the chimney chute or gets through the window, then what are you doing? Girl, she saw what she wanted to see. Exactly. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm Maybe the saying. chimney was the route that she thought she was going to take, that she could be, you know, a little incognito, a little Car Carmen San Diego. You know what I'm saying? He, she didn't want him to know that, you know. How about some know, binoculars or that, something? That works. By that the way, works. she was one of my people. You know, they, they, we have the stereotype <laughs> of being the crazy Latina girlfriend. She's making <laughs> us look bad. Get it together. Adrian. What? You need to finish that story. <laughs> What? What did that girl see when she went in? She saw her man laying in bed <gasps> with another woman. They were both asleep. What she She stood at the end of the bed and she just was like, because ah! oh. she, she saw what she thought she was going to see and it was not good. Is she, her, you? Uh, That's who you're talking about. Get your life. Say I'm going to ask you one more time. Who? who is she? I'm going to leave this to Tamara's um, discernment. What? <laughs> Adrian. Adrian. I will not confess this on national television. Adrian, <laughs> did you do that? I'm a Christian. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Adrian. Oh, my God. Not my friend, Aid. No, no. <laughs> Aid, not I you. Do. Wait, you guys, I do have to say, sometimes men do make us yes. a little crazy. Yes. I will say that. But I don't know about, like I said, going down a chimney. Come on. If and, you had and, a friend like me and I was like, yo, we can just go see. Exactly. Like, we can, we can literally that's just go see. No, crack. because in the end. All you got to do is Adrian, go out show this Adrian, That's all you got to do. Adrian, in the end, you're going to look really crazy. No, no, I don't care about that, though. Because, I mean, <laughs> no, no shade. Because really, you're really, find honestly, out anyway, let me though. Just explain something to you. My feelings is not your Milton Bradley. This is not your game, okay? It's not your Christmas, all right? Like, you're not going to play with my feelings. So if I was you, because we we're talking about you, who climbed through the window. <laughs> and she might have climbed that. through the chimney. I mean, hey, tell yeah. who that lady you know, was. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have cried, huh? You should say, get up, everybody. Get up. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> It was just so shocking. <laughs> then you cried. It was just so shocking. I you know what? Because you, you, you pull it up in your head and you think maybe you're crazy. And that is one thing I will say. I always question a man who says, oh, I have a crazy ex. Or, oh, yo, she's just crazy. No, sweetie. My question is, what did you, you do, do to make, make her crazy? Lie. Lie. They lie. Her girlfriend was clearly like me. You know what I mean? She, girl, let's go ride by his house. Yes. What's going on? Yes. Like, if you don't want to clear mine, call me. If you want to clear mine, call her, because she's going to talk you off the ledge. I'm going to go with you. Or me. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, over my hair, we going to jump. Yes. Yes. I would say, no, we're going to get frozen yogurt. Let's go cry this out. Yes. No, That's what I would do. Who are you think you fooling? You about that life. What you I, talking never about, Willis? Really? crazy. No, no, no. You guys, I'm, I'm very heated and I'm very fiery. If you corner me, but I don't want to look crazy. I got too much pride for that. Yeah. Lies. I don't. Really, really. I, I don't believe it. The, okay. Girl, you from San Jose. Okay, you, yes. Yes. <laughs> the craziest thing I did, which is, is, this is an old story. I told this already, which is when I fell in love with this guy. He was, he was in his 20s. I was like 16. I needed to lie about my age. I said I was over 18. He moved to Hawaii. I wrote him a big love letter, met him at the airport and gave it to him. And I walked him to the port and just kind of said, I just want you to know this. He read it in the line, came <laughs> over, ran after me to come with me to Hawaii. Literally in that moment, I emptied my account, bought the ticket, wow. and called my parents and said, I'm going to go stay at my friend's house for the weekend. In Hawaii, they ride mopeds everywhere. I've never, I don't even have a driver's license at this time. I'm riding a moped with him. Nobody tells me a two-way stop is one of those stop signs that you wait and you let all traffic go. So I stopped and went. What? I got hit by a bus, flew about 40 feet. This is not funny, but it's, it's so not funny. It's not funny because I'm, I'm alive, so we can laugh about it yes. now in my face, yes. okay? okay yes. But anyway, got hit by a bus. It made national news. My parents saw me on the news oh my God. talking about how I got hit by a bus and it was a whole transit system thing. My mom flew to Hawaii, pulled me by my hair out of the hospital bed, dragged me home. I never got to talk to that boy again. And I realized at that time that I was crazy. And, and you ain't jumped through no window. Girl, I, mean, I ain't almost that, die. What did, what did my mama say? say? What did she say to you in the hospital? How did he die? I want to know. She said, 
Why are you lying to me now? I look your face, I see lie. I don't see my daughter. Come on, look your leg. Your leg a big scar now. Look, I'm embarrassed. You stupid. You see, you stupid. You see? You see, you like? You stupid. 